Some of the earlier characters that, uh, that had been played around with, um, uh, some of them, again, just didn't feel right for the, for the, uh, for the time period. Um, some of them either felt overdressed or felt too fantasy. A lot of the concepts, too, got, got very detailed. There were lots of flowing things, and there was lots of hair, and there was lots of, of things that if we had to just model it, it probably would have been a little bit tougher to, to pull it off. There was one character I remember when I first saw it that had kind of a, um, almost kind of a, a tribal feel to it, a very kind of African feel to it, uh, which I thought was, was pretty cool. Uh, didn't say Greek, but I, at, at, the, at the same time when I looked at that, I thought, you know, you could, that would be a pretty cool character to work with. We went through images of the lone wolf kind of characters where uh, you might have a hero with a little baby or a dog on his back. Um, so just to kind of give something different, you know, about the character and something that you can kind of relate to. One of the original concepts behind the hero for God of War was to come up with a guy who was, his, his whole face was encased in a mask. And we thought that going with a mask would be uh, you know, being able to paint his face in broader strokes so that when you were playing the game he still had a lot of personality and you could still sort of read that when you saw the mask but when we actually got it in the game it ended up feeling very soulless and it didn't feel like the guy had a personality. That was, all, that was always one of the big big elements that we were dealing with uh, you know, and it was difficult because um, you know we would often hear it's not Greek enough, <laughs> and we're like, what does that mean? I'm using a, a actual, uh, you know, sometimes because we would use, it, we'd take it right from a Greek, um, some Greek sources, you know, and it's was, it was very Greek, but I think what we really started seeing was, okay, no, it's not, um, it's not Greek enough according to what the general public knows, and, and that's kind of what we, what we had to go towards. Uh, these are, again, uh very traditional some of these were very traditional kind of greek images and again the, again the more traditional it got the more armor we put on him the more he lost his uh his individualism every time we put something on you know dave felt like oh, he doesn't look brutal anymore and and we started realizing brutal also kind of related to the primal part of him you know and and so we did spend a lot of time going through that and but uh, in the end we ended up still taking his clothes off and that's what we went with, so. When I first saw this from Charlie, it was the first time that I really saw the brutal nature and the violent nature and the sort of the animalistic quality that would really become the foundation for Kratos. And I think starting to see these images was just like uh, sort of confirmation that, th that this idea could really work. And instead of giving him a, a traditional sword, uh, going with these sort of chain blades was gonna be much more dynamic and fluid and really fun to play with. The main goal for the character in the game was always to create someone that uh, looked uh, really brutal and really nasty and really violent. Instead of sort of going down the traditional route of a iconic Greek hero with the, with the plume helmet and the, uh, the skirt and the toga and the sandals, we wanted someone who really made the player feel like he was being able to unleash his dark side. So the idea was always how can we make him look more brutal? How can we make him look more violent and impulsive and nasty? And that desire always superseded sort of historical accuracy. So while you look at this guy and he may not totally feel at home in ancient Greece from a costume standpoint, uh, I think he achieves the greater purpose, which is to give players a character that they can play who really does let them just go nuts and uh, unleash the nasty fantasies they have in their head.